Hello, welcome back to my channel, Charlie's Lessons. And in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways you can make quizzes and games for your students in no time. So in this video, we're going to be using Bamboozle and you can visit this website by going to bamboozle.com. Now, if you're not familiar with this website, then go check out my other videos on how you can use this in your classroom. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to import games and quizzes from other websites into Bamboozle. First, we're going to look how we can import games from Kahoot. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Kahoot and we're going to go to our profile. And on the left-hand side, we're going to go to library. Now, this is the case for me because I'm going to take a game that I've already made. And you should have a list of all the games or quizzes that you've made on Kahoot. So for example, I'm going to use this one on modals, on can, could, may, and might. Once we're looking at the game, we need to go to the left-hand side, click on these three dots, and go to share Kahoot and take this link below. We could also just take the URL that's appearing right in the address bar at the top. So we've got this link copied now and I'm gonna to go to bamboozle.com. So here I am on my bamboozle.com home site and I'm looking at all my games. So I'm gonna to go to this plus sign that says game. Where it says either manual or URL, I'm gonna to go to URL. Just go to copy and paste and there it is. And I'm just going to click on here, import via URL. Now I've already done this, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And here is the quiz that I made earlier using the Kahoot. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten questions that have been imported. Now, if we go to the original Kahoot, there are actually, let's see, 20 questions. Now, the reason why that hasn't included all of them is because we have some that are not possible. For example, this puzzle task where students have to order or reorder, this is not an option on Bamboozle yet, so it hasn't included that question. And if I go to play, let's just do a basic one now. Modal verbs can, could, might, and may to talk about obligation and prohibition or ability, inability, possibility. Let's talk about, yes, this is the correct answer. So now this bamboozle is ready. I can play it with my students. Sorry, just my cat. So now this bamboozle is ready. I can play this with my students. I can share it with my students and it's, and it's ready to go. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can import games or quizzes from Quizlet. So once you get to your Quizlet homepage, we're going to go to your library and we're gonna find a study set that you would like to import into Bamboozle. For example, I'm going to use this study set that I made on phrasal verbs for a C1 student. So again, I just need to find a link that I can share with Bamboozle. So to do that, I just go to this button here that says share and I wanna take this link just right here. Go back to my games in Bamboozle, go to the plus sign to make a new game. Again, go to URL and we're gonna paste it into here. And we're gonna click on here, this little button that says import via URL. Now, again, I've already done this with a different Quizlet study set. So I'm going to go to my library and here it is, imported from Quizlet. Now let me show you the original study set that I used. So you can see here on Quizlet, it was just a sentence with a gap and it had the option here on the other side of the flashcard. If we go to the game on Bamboozle, here are all the answers. And if I go to play, again, there are only six questions in the original study set, so there's no more. You can see this Bamboozle game is ready to play with my students or to share. Now the third and final way I'm gonna show you how to make a game or quizzes for Bamboozle in no time is using ChatGPT. If you're not familiar with ChatGPT or if you've been living under a rock, then go check out my other videos on how to use ChatGPT in the classroom. So here I am on a previous conversation I had with the AI chatbot. This is something important I wanna show you is that you do not just give the prompt or give the request immediately. You need to give the ChatGPT bot some background information first. So this was my initial prompt was, you are an English language teacher. So this just letting it know that what role it was gonna take in this conversation. I can see it understood this. And then I asked it to create a quiz for a group of a two level students on a given topic. Again, I still hadn't given it or I still hadn't asked the chatbot to make the quiz yet. Then I made it very clear that I would like the question and answer to be separated by a comma. You're going to see in a moment why that's important. I said to the chat GPT bot that I think we're ready. So finally, the last one I got here was the full quiz on animals for an A2 level with commas. So all I did then was take this and copied it. So now I'm back on the bamboozle.com website and this time I'm gonna make a manual quiz. 
instead of making each question, we're going to go to this import button right here. I'm going to go to paste. And here are all the questions and answers that ChatGPT created. And if you look below, it's asking us to tell it how does it know the difference between a question and an answer. So you can see here what I've done is I've selected the option comma, which is why I asked ChatGPT to include a comma. And I'm just going to go to import questions. Once you've done this, you can see here that it has imported all the questions perfectly. And here are all the answers. This has endless possibilities, especially now that we're using ChatGPT. You can ask ChatGPT to make any kind of quiz, as long as you're using a comma to separate the questions from the answers. And all you do is copy and paste it, and it's ready to go. Thank you for watching this video on more ways you can use Bamboozle in the classroom. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time.